Hello Manifestors. Let's get started. How to use the Law of Attraction to Manifest, Creating the Life You Want with the Law of Attraction with Neville Goddard. Men believe in the reality of the external world because they do not know how to focus and condense their powers to penetrate its thin crust. This book has only one purpose, the removing of the veil of the senses, the traveling into another world. To remove the veil of the senses we do not employ great effort, the objective world vanishes by turning our attention away from it. This is how to use the law of attraction to manifest. We have only to concentrate on the state desired in order to mentally see it, but to give it reality so that it will become an objective fact, we must focus attention upon the invisible state until it has the feeling of reality. When, through concentrated attention, our desire appears to possess the distinctness and feeling of reality, we have given it the right to become a visible concrete fact. So creating the life you want with law of attraction has never been easier to do. If it is difficult to control the direction of your attention while in a state akin to sleep, you may find gazing fixedly into an object very helpful. Do not look at its surface but into and beyond any plain object such as a wall, a carpet, or any other object which possesses depth. Arrange it to return as little reflection as possible. Imagine then that in this depth you are seeing and hearing what you want to see and hear until your attention is exclusively occupied by the imagined state. At the end of your meditation, when you awake from your controlled waking dream, you feel as though you had returned from a great distance. The visible world which you had shut out returns to consciousness and by its very presence informs you that you have been self-deceived into believing that the object of your contemplation was real. But, if you know that consciousness is the one and only reality, you will remain faithful to your vision, and by this sustained mental attitude confirm your gift of reality, and prove that you have the power to give reality to your desires that they may become visible concrete facts. This is how use the law of attraction to manifest, by creating the life you want with the law of attraction. Define your ideal and concentrate your attention upon the idea of identifying yourself with your ideal. Assume the feeling of being it, the feeling that would be yours were you already the embodiment of your ideal. Then live and act upon this conviction. This assumption, though denied by the senses, if persisted in, will become fact. You will know when you have succeeded in fixing the desired state in consciousness by simply looking mentally at the people you know. In dialogues with yourself you are less inhibited and more sincere than in actual conversations with others. Therefore the opportunity for self-analysis arises when you are surprised by your mental conversations with others. If you see them as you formerly saw them, you have not changed your concept of self, for all changes of concepts of self result in a changed relationship to your world. In your meditation allow others to see you as they would see you were this new concept of self a concrete fact. You always seem to others an embodiment of the ideal you inspire. Therefore, in meditation, when you contemplate others, you must be seen by them mentally as you would be seen by them physically were your concept of self an objective fact, that is, in meditation you imagine that they see you expressing that which you desire to be. If you assume that you are what you want to be, your desire is fulfilled, and, in fulfillment, all longing is neutralized. You cannot continue desiring what you have already realized. This is how to use the law of attraction to manifest, therefore creating the life you want. Law of attraction, again is easy. Your desire is not something you labor to fulfill, it is recognizing something you already possess. It is assuming the feeling of being that which you desire to be. Believing and being are one. The conceiver and his conception are one, therefore that which you conceive yourself to be can never be so far off as even to be near, for nearness implies separation. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth, Mark 9 verse 23. Being is the substance of things hoped, the evidence of things not yet seen, Hebrews 11 verse 1. If you assume that you are what you want to be, then you will see others as they are related to your assumption. If, however, it is the good of others that you desire, then, in meditation, you must represent them to yourself as already being that which you desire them to be. It is through desire that you rise above your present sphere, and the road from longing to fulfillment is shortened as you experience in imagination what you would experience in the flesh, were you already the embodiment of the ideal you desire to be. I have stated that man has at every moment of time the choice before him which of several futures he will encounter.
but the question arises, how is that possible when the experiences of man, awake in the three-dimensional world, are predetermined, as his observation of an event before it occurs implies? This ability to change the future will be seen if we liken the experiences of life on earth to this printed page. Man experiences events on earth singly and successively in the same way that you are now experiencing the words of this page. Neville Goddard Hello Super Manifestor, if you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing, we always have free tools in the description box to help you with your manifesting needs. Thank you, until next time. Goodbye.